I, I, I keep my eye on this General Austin thing. I think you're having yeah. a big scandal broke overnight. President Trump came out last night, concurred with us that Austin's got to go. The, this scandal is huge. There's only by law the national the national military command authority is a law we've had since the beginning of the nuclear age that the Secretary of Defense must always be available to the president. Remember, the president makes a commitment to, to use nuclear weapons or to use military force. It has to be executed through a person. That The execution actually is the uh, Secretary of Defense. Austin was gone for five days, three days, they didn't even know where he was. He was in the hospital, I think, scandal. right? I think, I, in an in ICU unit and didn't tell anybody. His deputy didn't know, the undersecretary didn't know, the chain of command didn't know, and Biden's White House, Jake Sullivan, didn't know. Remember, Said we had, I think, three or four terrorist attacks on our troops on on the carrier battle group in the Red Sea and the, and the troops in Iraq, and 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 the question's got to be who was talking? How did the Secretary of Defense communicate with anybody? This is a scandal. I think you're going to see five or six heads roll over either at the National Security Council and the Secretary of Defense. I think Austin's gone. I think this shows you that Biden. Look, Trump, you get stability. Trump, you get peace and prosperity from a strong guy. Biden, they don't even have enough respect for Biden to keep him in the loop when the Secretary of Defense is in an ICU unit for three days. And ask your audience, how many people out there stayed three days in the ICU unit? You know you're pretty sick. So this scandal is going to blow up on, on Joe Biden big time. I think you're going to see some resignations or firings in the next 48, 72 hours. And See, Biden, is, the question's got to be, what kind of administration? We're in two wars. You, you've yeah. got American troops in harm's way yeah. in the Red Sea. We had two battle groups out there last week. One rotated back to Norfolk. You've got troops in Iraq they're taking and coming. Uh, the Israelis today let loose on Hezbollah, uh, you know, the Persian uh, militias up in Lebanon. You've got an active hot war in the Middle East. You've got all kinds of problems in the South China Sea and Taiwan. And the commander in chief is not directly yeah. talking to the secretary of defense. This thing's going to explode today. No, it's not in Washington. No, it's not. And I hate saying that because if it was Trump or Republican, it would. You'd be a hundred percent right. But it's not. I can't tell you, Steve, how many times over the last eight years Democrat leaders have done stuff where the next morning, me and Bernie were like, "They're going to jail." Oh, this is going to be a big deal, and <laughs> nothing happens. Joe Biden's not going to fire him because then Joe Biden admits he did something wrong. Let me explain this to you. You're right; it should be a big deal. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing. Well, let's. I tell you what: if we do our job, I, 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 I commit to you that something will happen. So let's. We'll, we'll go to work today and make sure this thing becomes a firestorm. Because you're right; you're 100 percent correct. They get the protection of the media. They got protection of the donor class, but these types of things, when you're starting to put our troops and American security in harm's way, somebody's got to pay a price. And I think this on this one, Joe Biden and his, his illegitimate regime have to pay a price. Well, please go out there today on your tremendous show, which everybody listens to. Go out there and kick his ass and make sure Lloyd Austin and Joe Biden and all these creeps actually do suffer some repercussions. Again, I hate to be so cynical, but just doing this every day for the longest time. These Democrats do what they want, and they never get into trouble, whether it's Hillary or Cuomo or Biden or, or a handful of these guys. Anyway, uh, I love the fact you're on every Monday. You were brilliant again today. Even pointing out the Lloyd Austin thing is a very, very big deal for my audience. So thank you so much for another great appearance. We'll do it again next Monday. God bless you.